Okay, so I've got a sort of a toothpaste kind of consistency here. It's not too runny and it's not too thick. So I'm going to basically throw this on my project and I'm going to then start working it under the edges of the lid. You might want to wear gloves for this. For me, everything washes up, so I don't mind using my hands. So basically, I'm going to make sure that every single channel here has some putty under it. And I'm also going to use a brush to help force this under there too, because I want to be sure pretty messy. feels like a strange thing to do to something you've worked so hard on, but believe me, it will clean up sparkling clean at the right time. So if you've got the other side to do, go ahead and turn it over and do that. And we're also this, just going to let this sort of firm up for a bit. So after you've done the other side, you'll notice it'll look a little different on this side. That's because the stuff is uh, still needs to set a little bit. So we're going to give it an hour and come back to it. And by then, the, the putty that has been forced under those lead lines will be a little bit more stable and we'll get the excess off with whiting. Now that this putty has had a chance to set a little bit, we're going to actually add the whiting and we're going to take this excess off. First, actually, I'm going to take a paper towel and wipe some of the extra just to preserve my brush a little bit. I have a natural bristle brush that is getting more and more filthy, so I'm going to just give it a swipe take some of this off and throw it away. And this will also help move the rest of the putty into those joints. And now I'm going to add some whiting. So this is again, I'm just using a powdered cleanser that's mostly calcium carbonate. And you know, calcium carbonate is just remnants of sea life that have drifted down to the ocean bottom. It's used for all kinds of commercial applications, including cleansers. And so now I'm taking my natural bristle brush and I'm going to get the excess off and it's going to kind of ball up the rest of this putty and let it move off of the work. The whiting also serves to dry it up the last little bit. So as you can see, it takes a little bit of strength to rub off this putty. I'm going to move the whiting back onto the project and keep going. So as you can see, the lines are becoming cleaner. So the putty that is has been crowded up to the glass is actually being scoured away right up to the lead lines. As you'll notice, the lead lines are getting darker, and yet the solder joints are not quite coming on board with the same color. And so we will use a blackener as a very final step to make sure those solder joints blend in as much as possible with the lead joints.
Okay, the work is primarily done, although we're going to do a final couple of touches. And I've got quite a mess to clean up. 